Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Node-RED, which is a flow-based editor, and it's going to let us use drag and drop code to do lots of cool things, one of them being setting up a color light brain computer interface. Now what you'll need is a Motive Launcher installed, which you also have installed a Motive DCI. If you haven't done that yet, there's a previous video that'll show you how, as well as a Cortex app client ID and client secret. Again, if you don't have that, just go check out the previous video. Now what you'll need is Node.js installed. To check if you already have that installed on your system, just go node version. So you can see I already have it installed here, but if you don't, you can just go to node.js or node.js.org and then download it based on your operating system. So we have node installed, which is great. Next, we're gonna install uh, node red. And you can follow along here, this is a mode of BCI toolbox, little demo, it has all the different commands that you'll need. So I'm using Windows, so I'm just gonna go ahead and install Node-RED. Now this will take a couple seconds and we'll skip ahead once it's done. So now we have the toolbox installed. We're gonna run Node-RED. And you'll see this is Node-RED starting up. So what you'll wanna do to actually access Node-RED is It'll say server not running at this address. You can control click, and here you see node red pops up. Now for now, we're just gonna close that and we need to install first the emotive toolbox. So you can see here, we're gonna do this top one and control C to exit out of that node red flow. Great, now we're gonna enter our Cortex client ID and client secret. And to do that, first we need to go to the node modules. You can just do that by CD. Node red slash, and I think it's node underscore modules. Oh, that was not right. Oh, sorry, there shouldn't be a slash here. Awesome. Now we're going to open up our text editor. I'm using VS Code, but you can use whichever text editor you would like. And this is just the command for going to open VS Code. And then this is the file that we're going to be opening. Node red. So we're now we're seeing VS Code pop up. The first thing we need to do is enter our client ID and client password. I've just pasted them, client ID and client secret. I've just pasted them into this text file here. So first you're gonna go to BCI config and you'll see here to ask for your client ID and your client secret. So I'm just gonna enter those here. We're just gonna add a couple more lines of code now so we can actually see the messages and outputs coming from Cortex. So to do that, we're gonna go, just to make this a little bigger so it's easier to see, to emotive or BCI dash emotive, and then at around line 59, just gonna do console.log, message from Cortex, and then this line below will actually print the message. We're just gonna save both of those files and then we can close up our text editor. Now, going back to our command line, we're gonna run node red and see if we can actually see our emotive nodes. So just typing in node red. Starting flows. Now in this case, I can see that there is access to emotive. What might happen is it might say the first time you run it, the access right to the application has not been granted yet. Then you can go to a mode of launcher and it should say give access or prove access. Once you do that, access to a mode of will be approved. And then you can go to server running at this link here. We are almost done. Now you should be able to scroll down and see your emotive nodes, which is perfect. So 
we'll go over in more detail in another video what all these nodes actually mean. But those are all the steps that you need to go through to access Node Red and then start using these emotive nodes to start making your own brain computer interface. Hope this video helped.